Welcome back to Hope is Here. My name is Greg Horn, and we are continuing our conversation with Julianne Williams. Uh, she, I knew her from Cynthiana, Kentucky, back in the 90s, early 2000. Uh, she was unexpectedly a single mom, not by her choice, had to get a job, started at the radio station there in Cynthiana at WCYM, worked her way over up in the ranks of the radio world to KISS 96.9 FM, which I know a lot of people are familiar with, and uh, climbed up the radio ladder, but unfortunately back uh, in the early 2000s, she got a bad health report and has had some major health challenges over the past 15 years. And uh, if you want to hear about uh, just her incredible spirit of faith through this journey, I want to really encourage you to go back and listen to the previous two programs. You can listen to those podcasts that are available at your convenience 24-7 on our website, hopeishere.today. That's hope is here. Dot today, uh, she shared you know about finding joy, and then yesterday we concluded about her, you know her children. She's got three precious children, and uh, they're struggling. That their mom has uh, not got long to live unless a miracle from God intervenes. And uh, talking to them about finding that same peace that she has found throughout this, and uh, you know that's got to be hard for your kids, Julie. As we kind of wrapped up yesterday. Um, you know, because nobody wants to let go of their mom or dad. I lost my dad a couple of years ago and was fortunate he had a great run to 74. But I know that you're a lot younger than that. And, uh, man, it's just got to be, as you said, really tough on your kids right now. Yet you're trying to get them to trust Jesus, aren't you? I am. Um, I, uh, like I said uh, yesterday, uh, I. I prayed so hard that, uh, and I still do. I'm, I'm not giving up. I'm, I, uh, I know that uh, God is with me no matter what, and uh, I just pray. My my prayer through all this is that uh, uh, God be glorified, that God is praised, and that He is given the. Uh, the, the, he, that he is given the praise and the glory and the honor for everything that uh, that I go through and every every little milestone that I get, uh, every every thing that uh, that God has for me in this. That's what I want. Well, I'll tell you, you know, we all want to leave a legacy, Julie, and a lot of times we think it is if we win awards or, you know, have lots of money, big house, big car, all that stuff, but I know that that's not been God's plan for you, and yet you are definitely leaving a legacy of faith, and for those of us that are followers of Jesus, it's that great reminder is what will people say, whether we're given, you know, 20 years on earth or 100, which most people don't get that, and yet you are... Uh, really doing a phenomenal job with that i want you to share uh, share with our listening audience you know you've been putting over the last i'm not sure the exact time but uh, frame when you started but on your facebook post with these health updates over the past uh, several years you started putting it as well with my soul talk about how that came to place please i uh, i just got to the point where um I, I knew that I it was all out of my hands. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't change anything. I couldn't make anything better. But I also knew that God could, and He does every single day for me. He brings that uh, that peace, and and uh, and it does pass all understanding. There's no way. That uh, I can uh, explain the, the the phenomenal uh, peace that God just gives me, and I so want that for everybody. And and it it is well with my soul. Do I want to die? No. But I do want to praise God through all this, and to uh, be what. Uh, he wants me to be, and the outcome of this, to be his will, and that he would uh, 
continue to be with me. And uh, like I said about my kids, you know, they um, they don't they're not happy. <laughs> of course, they uh, they have a lot of anger. They have a lot of pain. And uh, again, I just hope and pray that that uh, they'll be able to uh, to get through this and and just to know that. Um, and, and I've always tried to teach them, you know, not teach, but tell them and, and live the kind of life that they would see that God is good, that God has uh, has a plan, he has a way for me, and I want them to know that and to praise God through it all, no matter what, because he is worthy. He's worthy to be praised, and I'll tell you, there is nothing like praising God and looking at Him and, and feeling His love and feeling His uh, peace. I keep going back to peace, and that is exactly what I want for my kids. Oh, uh, Julie, we are uh, just so inspired by you. Um, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18 say always be joyful never stop praying be thankful in all circumstances for this is god's will for you who belong to christ jesus and i know people are listening saying you know some of you like me grew up in the church a lot and you hear that you're like yeah that's that's true and i, I need to do that yet if we're honest when things get tough in life uh, a lot of times we get frustrated and want to know why we're uncomfortable and don't want to be joyful and we even hesitate in praying and we're definitely not thankful yet friends you've just seen and heard over the past two and a half days here by julianne williams a precious daughter of god who has got some major health challenges She's living that. She's being joyful. She's not stopped praying. She's trying to encourage her children not to be angry at God. And she's being thankful in all circumstances, as that verse says in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18, for it's God's will for those who belong to Christ Jesus. And, Julie, I know that I know that I know that you belong to Christ Jesus. And uh, uh, as somebody told me at my dad's funeral right before we uh, started, said, uh, you know, uh, you, you didn't lose your dad. Uh, we know where he is. And uh, you can't lose something where you know where it is. And so um, I know you know where you're going. So when your time on this earth is done, it's just beginning. And if you don't get your healing on this side of earth, and we're still hoping for that and praying for that, uh, you know your healing's coming with King Jesus, isn't it? Absolutely. I have no doubt, no doubt whatsoever that, uh, uh, that God is going to take care of me, that God is going to uh, be my, my my stay, my rock, um, and and I just, uh, I want, I want other people to know what that feels like. Well, Julie, it's just been incredible for you uh, sharing. Uh, I know uh, it's taken a tremendous amount of strength and energy just to do these conversations we've had over the past few days thank you so much for letting your light shine for jesus and uh, letting us know that uh, like that song it is well with our soul that uh, so many of us have sang during times with tears rolling down our faces that uh, you have modeled it and i know you will continue to do that uh, any closing words that you want to share with people uh, here in the last couple minutes that we have just um, I, I i i want uh people to know not just the peace but to be strong in that peace and be um, the, the, the person that God has for me to be in the way that he wants me to do it. Um, it it's hard sometimes to, to let go and, and uh, let God have control and it took me a long, long time, uh, 56 years. To uh, uh, to realize that uh, yes, God has this under control, no matter what, and 
you know, like I said, I don't want to die. But if that's my life, if that's what that God has for me at this point in my life, you, you can't ask for any more than, than the peace of knowing that what God has for you and what God plans for you is, uh, is being manifest. Amen. Well, Julie, this is kind of a powerful question, but uh, we still got a, l- a little bit of time left. And, uh, you know, we always wonder what people would say about us, you know, when we do have our uh, homecoming celebration, a funeral. Um, what, what, what would you want said about you at your at your homecoming celebration? She loved. She loved. Mm. I can't, I can't uh, uh, begin to tell you how much it means to love people. And, you know, we think all the time, you know, we, we we love people and everything, but you know what? It took me a long time to get to the point where I not only love people, but I finally got to the point where I could let people love me. And that, uh, that in itself is, uh, is, a, a part of uh, the piece that that uh, you know that I've talked about that uh, you know I I didn't I didn't uh, let that happen for a long time and I didn't know how to let it happen for a long time but when you uh, are able to o- open up and and uh, put yourself in a position to be to be loved and cared for. Um, that's that is a uh, feeling that uh, not everybody not everybody gets, and I, I didn't for years, but now I do. Well, you definitely have loved well, and the Bible talks about you reap what you sow, and unfortunately sometimes that's not good things in a lot of our cases, but for you, you have sowed a lot of love to people. You sowed it to me and hundreds of others in your time up in Harrison County in Cynthiana, Kentucky, and you've continued to do that throughout um, this journey of uh, your major health challenges. In fact, now, as uh, you know, the doctors have said that they'll just have to monitor because there's not anything they can do. Uh, thank you for trusting God. Thank you for being an inspiration to me and countless others. And uh, I know that you're going to bless many, many over these uh three programs that we've recorded, Julie. I just thank you so much for sharing your story of faith. Uh, we love you so much. Thank you, Greg, and, and the feeling is uh, definitely mutual, and uh, I, I appreciate uh, uh, our friendship very, very much. Well, you're a special lady, and uh, can I pray for you as we uh, wrap up today? Yes, please. Lord, we just lift up Julie Ann Williams to you, your daughter, and uh, God, uh, unfortunately, she has uh, had a report from the doctors that there's not anything else they can do for her uh, health challenges that she has, and yet, Lord, uh, we know that you are on your throne, and so we humbly come and ask uh, if you could provide a miracle for her to be healed, uh, you would do that. But, Lord, if for some reason she doesn't get her healing uh, on this side of heaven, we know that she'll have it. Um, with you and can't wait for that but uh, God just be with her be with her children or her precious grandchildren and just enjoy every minute every hour and uh, Lord for all of us that are listening it's a great reminder to make that phone call that text to send that card to forgive because life is precious and Lord uh, most of all just help us to do what Julie has done and that is to love man she just loves so faithfully and so unselfishly so we ask you put your angels around this precious daughter of yours julianne williams help her to know how much we all love her and are praying for her but most of all how much you do it's in the powerful name of jesus i pray amen